First play from scrimmage, Colorado State after giving up a touchdown on the Spartans' opening drive, completing a pass. Grayson to Donnell Alexander and a pickup of nine yards on first down. There's a look at Garrett Grayson, sophomore from Vancouver, Washington. Coach Mack likes his leadership skills. He's mobile, 4'6", guy. They'd like to see him stay in the pocket a little bit more. Out of the flat again, it's Alexander. Two catches to open things up, and they move the sticks out to the 35-yard line as the tackle's made by Damon Ogburn. That's smart, conservative play calling. Get the ball out quick. Build your confidence after your defense just gave one up early. Make sure Garrett Grayson and Donnell Alexander show their leadership ability in the first series. Grayson, just a sophomore, started the final three games last year in place of the injured Pete Thomas. It's his team this year. He's done a nice job of taking what the D has given him for the first two weeks of the season. They give him the run here, and Alexander exposes the Spartans for another first down, up to the 44. Here's a look at that offense. Alexander must be big. He's a redshirt freshman, runs a 4-4. Crockett Gilmore, one of the best tight ends in the country on the John Mackey watch list. Two passes to Alexander and then a run. And quickly they're out to the 44-yard line. Inside handoff. And the carry by Joe Hansley for a short game. The Colorado Gatorade Player of the Year shut down. James Orth, the leader of that secondary preseason first team all wax seven career picks from his safety spot. We talked about Johnson, and that front seven is very good. The linebackers talented, and they're deep at that position. No game by Hansley. On second down, play fake. Keon, Kevon Cartwright, the tight end with the catch, and he's to the Spartans' 49-yard line. They like to use Cartwright and Gilmore, the tight end H-back guys. Oh, and they, they like to use the play action, and it's nice to see the bootleg come back into college football. We haven't seen a lot of it. It's a good, solid play when you just need to continue a drive. It's usually good for four to five, well called and well executed. You see 86, they compare him to Corey Sperry, the former Ram who's now in the NFL. Similar build, 6'4", about 240, and he can run. Third down, three. San Jose State up 7-0. Rams initial drive now. Underneath, catch made by Alexander, and a first down to the 44-yard line. Buhanger on the tackle. Alexander's going to be a busy guy. You get the feeling today. Well, already he's delivering for the Rams on the run and on the pass. Did a nice job right there just sneaking out into the middle linebacker zone of that defense being the outlet that Garrett Grayson needed and then he had the wherewithal to pick up the first down. Son of the late Derek Thomas, the Chiefs Hall of Famer, recruited by several big time programs out of Blue Springs, Missouri. Spartans showing blitz. Grayson through the hands of Vinson. He was looking into the sun a bit. Second down. Vincent's going to try to figure out how he can block that sun and catch the ball at the same time. Against the Spartan defense, you've got to be perfect. The ball's in a good position. I think he lost it in the sun. You look at that angle on the shadow. A very difficult catch, but it's what you have to do. We talked about him as one of our feature guys that needs to step up. Made the switch last year from DB to wide receiver. They need some big playability from guys like him. Second and 10 now. Pressure coming. Grayson in trouble. Johnson's got him and he escapes him somehow and throws it away. How did Grayson get away from Johnson? He had him in his grasp and that would have been his 24th career sack. I think the problem was nobody blocked Johnson. He was so quick on his move that he, he had too much momentum and he couldn't hang on. Great job, Grayson showing how big and strong he is and wisely dumping the ball out of bounds. But that can only light the fire under Travis Johnson. He tasted that sack, it got away from him, and now he's coming back to the table. The senior from San Jose lined up again. Top of that line, top of the screen. Here he comes on third down. Grayson through the hands of his intended receiver, Marquise Law. And the receivers on a couple plays have had some trouble locating the football. 
It's difficult when that ball is coming right through the sun and another problem they're going to have despite the sun going in this direction. Ty Sambroglio is having one heck of a time with Travis Johnson. A split second longer on that last play and Coach McIlwain would have been very upset. Kondotiakis, the senior from Tarpon Springs, Florida, on the Ray Guy watch list. He'll try to pin the Spartans back. He'll get this punt away from his 45. Ronnie Yell waiting on it. Going to let it hit inside the five and into the end zone. And the Spartans will have it at the 20-yard line on the touchback. Great start for San Jose State. They have a close loss to Stanford, a win over UC Davis.